Okay, I'm sorry. The mute button was on. I apologize, you guys. Okay, I'm glad I looked down. Okay. All right, you guys, I'm here. Y'all can hear me? How y'all doing? I'm sorry, I had to hit the mute button real quick. Can everybody hear me now? We good? Let me make sure we good. <laughs> it's always some shit. Okay, good. All right, y'all can hear me. Okay, hey! <laughs> y'all, it's been a crazy day. When I'm doing stuff and I'm gathering notes, I mute my whole thing because just in case I accidentally go live or something, y'all don't need to be hearing what's going on in my house, honey. So the mute button was still on, but it's open now. Thank you, guys. Um, I was reading Libra, Libra85 Super Chat. She says, hey, T, sending love from Cali. I'm streaming this live from three different devices in case YouTube starts tripping and kicking people out. Thank you. So like I was saying when I was silent is that I'm also recording this stream. So any issues, it'll be backed up and, you know, posted on YouTube. Um, oh, God, here come all the Super Chats. Lord, thank you guys so much. Um, Star Child says, love you, queen. I'm ready for the tea. Um, thank you, sis. Meredith Spring says, love you. Always glad to catch a live stream. Greetings from Vegas. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming through. Julius Brown says, hey, T, love your videos. You're the truth. Been watching since 2016. God bless. God bless you, too. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Um, Miss EB11 says, $5 just for being you. Thank you. And welcome, everybody. How many people got up in here? Let me see. Okay, we got 5,000 people watching. The stream is in the yellow, okay? I'm looking super light bright, so you know what that means, honey. It's like YouTube beyond this weird stuff. But, okay, um, I'm going to do this video, this live stream like a video. There's a lot of stuff. Th there's a lot of stuff to unpackage. It's a lot of stuff that's just went on with this entire situation. But before I even get started, let me say this. Um, I got to take responsibility for something I've said in my past, okay, that somebody made me aware of. But when I was talking about old school YouTubers, I had given Shane props um, and called him an OG of YouTube, you know, because I was liking his documentary series. Because I had forgotten and I didn't know about all the other stuff. And I, you know, figured like, you know, everything that he did when I did watch him like initially 10 years ago. One, it started getting really, really crazy with the blackface and stuff. That's when I tuned out. And then I didn't watch his stuff. I didn't hear his name. I didn't pay him any attention for years. Then YouTube started recommending him again when he started his conspiracy channel. And I would check it out periodically, but I didn't like his conspiracy channel because to me, it felt way too soft. He was really light with it. And YouTube would push that as conspiracy truth or tea, but the real people going down the rabbit hole, YouTube was silencing them and taking down their videos. So at that point, I wasn't interested in the conspiracy version of Shane, and I tuned out. And then he reinvented himself and became Shane Dawson, the documentary filmmaker, okay? And for me, everybody who knows me knows I love documentaries. So I watched a few of his documentaries, and I'm not going to lie, they were good. I enjoyed the documentary with Graveyard Girl because I hadn't seen her in years. I didn't know what the hell happened to her. You know, but the more that people have shown me, I never knew the man had a podcast and was saying all that crazy stuff. I never knew he was doing the stuff at the meet and greets. Like, just the stuff that's been coming out has just been crazy. But I want to take personal responsibility, you know what I'm saying, for calling him an OG when he had all this shit going on. So, you know what I mean? I'm always going to be responsible for my words. You know, but it's like this whole situation is just insane. I don't think anybody thought this shit with Shane Dawson got that deep. Because I'm always willing to, you know what I'm saying, give people a chance to change. Because I will never want somebody to hold something against me that I did when I was younger. But, you know, I assume maybe he did it once or twice. Because like I said, once I seen it, I checked out. I didn't know he did this shit for years. Because I checked out. You know, so the whole situation is just crazy. I mean, somebody was even DMing me today. Let me see if I have this. And telling me more shit. Like, this is all I've been getting in my DMs, just stuff that this man does. They told me to watch this, and it was saying something about being gross. I said, Lord, I don't have the stomach to watch this, you know, because I'm trying to get ready. And she tells me that he spit on Tana Mojo. 
So it's like so much stuff coming out about this man. It is ridiculous. Okay. But I want to go ahead and, you know, talk about that. Somebody called him Shane Baskins. Oh, my goodness. So let's go ahead and get everything started. We got 8,000 people in here. Um, God, we got a bunch of super chats. That girl, Naya, says, hey, T, love you. Been watching you since your son did the cinnamon challenge. You inspire me. Thank you so much for the super chat. I appreciate it. So, okay, so let's go ahead and get into the tea. So for months, well, hell, not months, shit, a whole year, Tati has been quiet about the whole drama, what they call drama getting. This situation, everybody's calling it karma getting. So today, Tati Westbrook finally came out and she broke her silence about the entire situation with James Charles, Jeffree Star, Shane Dawson, okay? And she's basically saying that she was manipulated into a lot of stuff. Okay, so I have timestamps, so please be patient with me because I want, we're going to listen to a lot of this stuff together. So I wrote notes, I have timestamps of what she's saying so we can discuss it. And then I have a whole, I have extra tea at the end of this live stream, okay? So we're going to go ahead and get into it. So just be patient because I got my notes, I got my timestamp, I'm trying to pop out this chat. So I can see the chat going as this video's playing. So just give me a second here. Y'all have fun. Okay, so we got that. Let me get my display capture. So we're gonna go ahead and listen to what she had to say initially, okay? So this is one of the timestamps here. So give me just a second. hurt me. I was very worried and heartbroken, but I did not lie in that video. I never called James Charles a prrr, and I never said that James Charles was a danger to society. My video was not made with any malice. I did not publicly air any of the horrific accusations that were being made behind the scenes. While I was definitely upset that he had accepted a sponsorship from the biggest rival to my brand, Halo Beauty, I did not make my video because of vitamins. I made it as a result of all of the poisonous lies that were fed to me by Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star. James Charles's Sugar Bear Hair Sponsor. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and stop it right there. So she's saying that she made that whole video because she was manipulated by um, Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson. Okay, so give me a second here. There's a lot to unpack, you guys. There is a lot to unpack, okay? So I want you guys, as I'm playing different parts of her live stream, take all this in, and we're going to keep talking about it, okay? So let me go ahead and get the next timestamp here. It's, it's so much to unpack. Have everything. Now, y'all go ahead and listen to this part. And I'm sorry for giving up on you. The information they were giving me was terrifying. I thought your career and freedom were in jeopardy. I was trying to get you to put your phone down and seek help because... I was told there were a lot of victims that were going to come forward to destroy you. I was foolish for believing them. I was scared. I thought if I called you out, you would put your phone down and stop the detrimental behavior I was being made to believe was true. Okay. So you guys just heard that bit. So let, let's start here with the part where she said that she was so... She felt that going public and making this entire situation public would get James Charles's attention to stop him from his detrimental behavior, okay? This is my thing. And I don't know James Charles' relationship with his mother. I don't watch these people like that. So I don't know if his mother is a staunch person in his life, if he was living with his mother at the time. But I know at the time, James Charles was 19. 
Okay, I have a 19-year-old son who still lives here with me. So, me and Tati are basically the same age. She played a mentor to James Charles. So, being that she was a mentor to James before he really blew up, I'm sure she was very close to his family because I always see James talking about his mom. So, I'm sure that at some point in time, if she really felt that her, that, that her mentor, I'm excuse me, the mentee, was doing a lot of, like, you know, just crazy stuff. He was involved in this scandal. People are accusing him of, you know, aring, you know, young children and being, a you know, the P word. At some point, being the, the age that I am, I would contact that, that kid's mother. I mean, I mean, am I, am I wrong? Like, you're 19. It's not like he's 34. So he still is going to be around his family so at some point in time, hey, you know what? We got to talk. I got some disturbing news about your son. While I'm, I'm his mentor and I love him, something's not right here. Okay, good. So people say, nope, you're not wrong. That's correct. And that's what I'm not understanding is why take this to the internet? If you were that concerned for these victims, if you were that concerned, you know, trying to get his attention, Going to YouTube when you have a massive fan base is not the way to get somebody's attention. It's the way to it's a way to cause drama. OK, and I feel like, to be honest, Tati was hurt, but not necessarily because of these accusations. She was hurt because she thought that somebody that she basically put on, she helped to basically give James Charles a stamp of approval. OK, because Tati's platform at that time was very wholesome. Tati's never been involved in any drama. So when she puts a stamp on somebody, that says a lot. And so for James Charles not to look out for her now that he's grown this major fan base, he has this cover girl deal. He's being invited to Coachella. He's been invited, you know, to go hang with Susan Wojcicki and go to the Met Gala. So for him not to shout out her company. I believe that that really hurt her. And I, and I can understand that as a business owner where somebody that you really looked out for and, and, and put time into for them to not turn around and look out for you. I can see that being hurtful. But I feel like with her trying to say that they just manipulated her and that she had no other recourse but to take it to YouTube, I'm sorry, sis. There were many other recourses before you made your video. And that's just keeping it real. Let me read some of these super chats real quick. Um, let's see here. Kimberly Dobler sends $49.99. She says, how can a 40-year-old woman be manipulated by those guys? Clear case of Karen Tears. Ooh. Thank you so much for the super chat, sis. I truly appreciate it. Um, okay, this person sent, I don't, I've never sent, what is S-E-K money? Sent $119 in S-E-K what country you from? Oh, Sweden. Okay. Thank you. She says, hey, I'm a huge fan from Sweden. Stayed up to watch you. Can't help but to give Tati the side eye when she act like Shane and Jeffrey made her do it. I can't take her seriously. Thank you so much, Nora. I really appreciate the support and the super chat. Yes. You know, there, there is blame to go around all over and we're going to do that. We got enough blame. Everybody played a hand in this, okay? Nobody's innocent in this. So thank you so much for staying up with me, okay? I really appreciate it. Um, Mink Stack since four ninety nine says she's damn near 40. I'm sorry, but those tattoo tears and Newport scratch, <laughs> you know what I'm not fooling with you. And that Newport scratch voice don't move me. You know what? Get out my chat. Because no, you didn't say she had a Newport scratch voice. Oh, Y'all are messy, honey. Thank you so much for the super chat. I appreciate it. Um, let's see here. Baby Cake says, been watching since you did the video about your nephew's hair. Love you. You make us laugh even when dealing with serious topics. Love you. Keep it the great work. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thanks for coming through. Um, let me read one more super chat. Tati is the ultimate Karen. Ooh, the UK is coming for you, honey. Thank you so much, Nyla Helene. I appreciate it. So... Excuse me, I'm still coughing, honey. My damn asthma, honey. I'm so over this shit. Yes, make sure y'all hit like. I see we got about, oh, we got damn near 13,000 people in here. Y'all better hit the like button, honey. 
So now let's go on to the next um, part, to the next um, part of the chat. Give me just a second to get to the next timestamp here. I wasn't playing. I took straight timestamps. Okay. So give me just a second here. Pull up my display window. Now y'all go ahead and listen to this. All right better person. Which brings me back to another long overdue apology. Jackie Ina. Jackie, the moment that Jeffrey went off, the moment that Jeffrey went off on you, the day before my first video collab with him went live, I should have run for the hills. I was naive. I was excited about the video. I got it twisted that you had provoked Jeffrey because you were angry that I had filmed with someone who had a history of being labeled by others as a racist. Jackie, I'm sorry that I did not do the right thing and walk away from him then. I should have not been blind to the reasons behind the accusations of his racism. I shouldn't have defended him and I regret any of the pain that I may have caused you. And for the record, loud and clear, I've always liked you and I've always enjoyed you, every interaction that we've had face to face. And I let you down. And I am so genuinely sorry for that. In 2000. All right. So y'all heard somebody called her Tattoo Tears Tati. You know what? Y'all are wilding out in this chat. I'm going to need y'all to stop with the jokes, okay? Because I'm trying to run the show here. They are calling her Tattoo Tears Tati. Now, the whole Jackie Ina thing, I didn't know about that. Y'all told me about that. That's how much I don't watch these people until y'all spill tea and send me DMs. My DMs have been crazy. Folks are mad right now because my damn Instagram is private. They're like, open this bitch up. I know you on here talking about the situation. I am, and we're not making it public right now. I'm in one of my damn moods, okay? But anyways, y'all were sending me so much tea with this situation. It's insane. I never knew her and Jackie Ina had a beef, honey. Had no damn idea. So to me, to kind of bring Jackie into it, I would have respected it had you apologized to Jackie way before this, okay? This seems very Black Lives Matter-ish. You know how all these companies are coming out the woodwork like, hey, black people, we're no longer going to call the master bedroom the master bedroom because it goes back to slavery. Um, Okay, bitch, we didn't ask for that. How about you give us good good loans to go get the damn home in the damn mess in the bed in the master bedroom? We want home loans. We don't care about you changing the name of the damn master bedroom. That don't benefit us. Hey, black people, we're gonna get rid of all white folks who are voicing black characters on The Simpsons and on Family Guy. We don't give a fuck. We've been watching The Simpsons since I was like in third grade. Don't change it now. I like the voice of a poo. I don't give a damn who's voicing it. Like, you're not doing us a favor by doing all of this stuff. Hey, black people, I play a black character on some show. I'm going to give it up. Okay, you want a cookie? You knew it was a black character before you signed up. So, I mean, do y'all get what I'm saying? That's what it kind of feels like to me. I'm not saying that Tati's not sincerely, you know, apologetic to Jackie and that's not you know this is not my apology to receive it's Jackie Ina's apology to receive but that's what it sounds like to me you know when you're bringing up her name in this situation when if you really had wanted to apologize to her you would have done this long before this scandal you know what I'm saying don't wait until we're in this whole what I want to call a, a woke renaissance you know you have they're canceling tv shows of people who are doing blackface, you know, they're trying to cancel everybody because they want to side with Black Lives Matter and black people. And that's not what we're asking for. We don't care about y'all, you know, canceling the Jimmy Kimmel show. How about y'all go arrest the cops that shot Brianna? Go arrest the cops who killed I'm Elijah McClain. We're asking for that. All this other superficial shit, 
It's just superficial. We don't care. It does not benefit the black community. But, you know, thank you, Tati, for apologizing. <laughs> oh, my God. It is cracking in here. All right. It is cracking. The Super Chats is cracking. Christian Darden says, why can't she look at the camera? She's reading from a teleprompter. Hello from Nebraska. She stated earlier in the stream that she wrote a lot of stuff down, which I don't blame her because it was a lot to unpack. It's a full 40-minute video. So that's why she's reading some stuff off, which, you know, if you're trying to break stuff down, just like I'm doing, you have to read some things out. But so, you know, that in her defense, that's why. Um, but thank you for the Super Chat. Tara Lynn Charles Blank says, hello, T. Hope you're doing well today. Can you please consider making me a moderator? Thanks a bunch. Honey, you sent 50 bucks. A moderator? You are. Well, no, you are a moderator, sis. Can you please consider making... You're already a moderator. I went to add you, honey. It says remove as moderator. You're a moderator. I don't know why your wrench is not showing, but you're already a mod. But thank you for the super chat, sis. I appreciate it. Um, Let's see here. Beauty Family Food says, T, you are the best. I love you. You are my best friend in my head. Um, keep doing what you do. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you for the super chat. We have so many people in here. It is crazy, honey. Um, okay, so somebody said, Simply Bree in the comment section says, Jackie talked about Tati apologizing behind the scenes when Jackie reviewed Tati Beauty. Okay, I didn't know that. So she did apologize to her behind the scenes. But again, I wish she'd have made it public way back then when everything happened. I think that'd have been nice. Okay, so let's see here. Oh, we got a lot of messages. Um, Kiara Kendrick sent $9.99. She says, just got off of working a 14-hour shift, and I'm still here for the tea. Thank you, Auntie and my fellow tea sippers for the laughs and tattoo tears. Tati. Thank you so much. I know you worked a long day. Thank you for coming through and supporting my stream. I really appreciate it. So, I mean, this whole situation is nuts. So let's go ahead and get on to the next part of it here. And then this next part, she's going to talk about her and how she met Shane. And you'll see Tati basically saying the same thing I said is it, this is like how much this dude was able to just clean up his reputation where most people forgot about all this shit he did 10 years ago and he's being introduced as a documentary filmmaker. You know, just this real astute guy that's trying to bring behind the scenes tea, you know what I'm saying, to the forefront so y'all know what happened to some of your favorite YouTubers and what makes some of your favorite YouTubers tick. So let's go ahead and play that. Let me get the timestamp together. Give me just a second here. Right. Perfect. All right, y'all go ahead and listen to this. <laughs> Over the next few weeks, Jeffrey began talking to me about how Shane Dawson was a big fan of mine and wanted to meet me and how I should be involved in their docu-series. Eventually, Shane reached out to me by text and started DMing me on Instagram. Shane said I was the queen of makeup reviews on YouTube, that I was his favorite beauty channel, and he wanted me to teach him all about makeup. I didn't know much about Shane Dawson. I knew that he was viewed as the king of YouTube, and he had done amazing series with Bunny, and I hadn't watched much of anything else other than Jake Paul series, and of course, the series with Jeffrey. In all honesty, I was looking forward to meeting Shane. I had actually hoped he would want to help me tell my personal story one day about all the pain and heartbreak in my life that led me to wanting to start my own YouTube channel back in 2010. I wish I had researched him better. I wish I had watched his old videos. I wish I had educated myself and I was aware of his earlier content. All I knew at the time was that Shane Dawson was the most adored documentary filmmaker on YouTube. So I invited him over to my home to play with makeup and to get to know him. Shane came over one afternoon in April and I opened up and shared things that I've only shared with. All right. So you guys just heard that. So let me come back on the screen here. So that was her meeting with Shane Dawson. And y'all keep that in mind because that's going to be very important to how I tie this all together. 
So, I mean, unless you really watched him for the beginning and knew, like, his whole backstory and all that shit, most people just checked out of watching Shane Dawson's comedy skits that he used to do on YouTube initially. And then, like I said, he's rebranded himself several times. Because, again, that's that privilege. He has so many followers and he's YouTube's golden boy that he was able to rebrand himself from doing all the mess that he was doing before to being a conspiracy theorist, you know, just jumping on different bandwagons. And then I found out he was a podcaster for a while and he did a lot of shit on his podcast and interviewed some of the biggest YouTubers and all that. But what we mostly know Shane Dawson for right now in like 2018, 2019, 2020 is being a documentary filmmaker. And so Tati thought by that, um, you know, he'd, he'd maybe do a documentary on her and be able to tell her story. So keep that in mind. Let me go ahead and read some of the stuff here. They said we have 15,000 people in here. Y'all make sure y'all hit that like button, honey. Um, let's see here. Eric Hampton says, why can't white people beef like regular folks? Uh-uh. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat. Um, Princess Aaliyah, T, can you make me a mod slash moderator? I've been trying to find the join button for a long time. I'll make you one. Please don't be sending super chats. Continuously asking to be a mod. Let's keep it on the topic, y'all. Thank you. But thank you for the super chat, sis. Um, SMNM says, not on Jeffrey or Shane's side, but Tati is obviously lying. She only does this after she gets canceled. by sis. You're obviously lying. Thank you, SM. Um, let's see. P. Lee says, thanks for keeping everyone informed and entertained. We need this right now. Amen. Yes, we do. And I'm here to spill it. Thank you for the super chat. Natural OT04 says, keep up the good work. Thank you so much. I will. Um, Dorcoris Antonio says, don't care for these white people's foolery. Just caught you on the live and wanted to say, keep doing you. Thank you so much, sis. I appreciate it. Thank you. Um, Fatty French sent 20 says, I saw that Jaden Smith and August Alcina were trending. Mm. I wonder why, honey. I got to check into that. Um, Corey Tate says they need to treat him like they do R. Kelly. This is sick. I agree. Um, S. Jones says, love you, T. White people being white, I see. Y'all are wilding in here. Um, Erica Graziano says, girl, Tati hasn't spoke about the protests, riots, or Black Lives Matter. Now she wants to expose this, and that's what I'm not with. Her platform could have been used for a lot of good instead of drama, and conveniently bringing up Jackie rubbed me the wrong way. You know what? You made some good points, and I'm not, you know, you made some excellent points. We are dealing with a lot of stuff right now, and for them to be focused on this, it says a lot. But we're going to get into why she chose this time to focus on this. We're going to go kind of deep. Um, so we heard that part. So now let me get to the next part of the um, stream that I want y'all to listen for here. Give me a second for this timestamp. Okay, right there. All right, you guys go ahead and listen to this real quick. Shane said that James Charles was a monster and that James Charles was hurting minors. Shane said he was planning to interview victims for the docu-series. He told me that something needed to be done to stop him from hurting more people. Over the course of the next few weeks, he and Jeffrey fed me so much information that I felt sick. Almost every day, there was more information and new allegations. Eventually, I started believing what they were saying because they said they had evidence. By the time the drama around James Charles's promotion of Sugar Bear Hair reached its peak, I was beyond gaslit. <sighs> Shane Dawson didn't just know about my Bi Sister video. He offered to help edit it. He even offered to design the thumbnail and help title it. I declined his offer, but his gesture supported and reinforced for me that he was telling the truth. Why else would he jeopardize his career? So surely Jeffrey was telling the truth too. Okay, so you guys just heard that. So, I mean, like I said, it's so much to un unpack here. So, you know, she's saying, like, she really believe, believe them. Because why would they risk their career, their reputation, stating all of this? And then Shane Dawson was telling her that he was basically filming 
a documentary, you know, for the victims, knowing that she's a victim of, you know, sexual abuse, that she'd be more likely to be on board. So, you know, manipulating her. OK, um, let's see here. Cat Cat, of course, says Tati is the Taylor Swift of the makeup world. She's out here squeezing those tear ducts for water. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I'm not full of with y'all. Y'all, the tea sippers are being bad today, honey. They are. They got the tiny violins going. Y'all are doing too much in this chat. Okay, let me finish. You are funny. She said she is out here squeezing out those tear ducts uh, for water, honey. And the well is coming up dry. Cueing the violin. Didn't she lawyer up? Jeffrey has dirt on her. That's the gag. Mm. Y'all are why this chat is between the, the super chats and the regular chats. It is popping in here. Darling Lamb says, from what Tati said, this scandal sounds as though it was in the makings for a long time. Jeffrey just wanted a scapegoat to pin it all on. Oh, we're going to get to it, honey. We're going to get to it. Um, thank you for the super chat, sis. Thank you. Um, Baby Hustle 09 says, hey, T, in a recent stream. You shouted out Bonnie Blue. She's definitely one of my favorite YouTubers. She's also the reason I'm a tea sipper. I love both of y'all. Thank you so much for the super chat. I appreciate it. Yes, I love her. She's a sweetheart. Um, Melanin Queen says, Shane used YouTube to get away with his deviant behavior under the guise of humor. He was allowed to degrade races of people and sexualize children and animals. What grown man does that for laughs? And that's the thing I didn't understand, Melanin Queen. When people were bringing it to my attention, because like I said, I hadn't watched him in years until he was doing the documentary. I didn't know about all that other stuff. But what was so crazy is he's doing all of this deviant stuff in the guise of humor. Somebody left a comment on my Instagram page. And they basically said that Shane Dawson. Matter of fact, let me show y'all this. This is how I mean, I'm learning new stuff every day. Let me show y'all real quick what this person left on my Instagram page. They said, you know, he did a podcast where he said his first sexual experience was rubbing his peen against his cat's stomach. And he finally nutted all over the cat. Literally, you can't make this shit up. And look at my response. Oh, my God. What? I never even knew this fool had a podcast. So all this stuff started coming out. This man has reinvented himself a hundred times. Wow. And no one found that disturbing. I mean, the fact that he is on a podcast talking about ba basically banging his cat. And like you said, says he's putting in the guise of humor. But this dude is just a deviant all the way around. He's a deviant. I mean, that is just disturbing. But that's what like people find is humorous. Just like that video that they sent me earlier in my DM of him spitting on somebody. Like, what kind of mess is that? You're a grown man in your 30s. Honey, it's, it's, a, it's a, just disgusting. Um, Katie and Rice says, hey, T, love watching your content. Keep being you. Can't wait to try your tea. Love from Florida. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming through. Appreciate it. Um, Melita Brown says, for all you do, thanks for the content. Thank you so much, sis. Uh, let's see here. American Dad Fan says, I feel like they befriended her because they didn't want it to blow up in their faces if it came back on them. Very calculated and months in the making. Are we going to get to that, honey? Sean says, thank you for the super chat too, by the way. Sean says, she says she witnessed this, but now she's told all of this with no receipts. They're turning on each other, and James is taking everything from all three. Mmm. Karma, honey. So let's see here. Where we at? Where we at? How much time I got left? Okay, I've been on here for 34 minutes. Okay, cool. We got over 15,000 people on here. Now, one thing I want to talk about, which I've noticed a lot of people are not talking about. Maybe they didn't notice it or just whatever. But she said something in that video that it, it really rubbed me the wrong way. And not even against Tati, against YouTube. I want y'all to listen to what Tati said that YouTube made her do in this video. Just a second here. Y'all go ahead and listen to this. My video went up. I was never served a lawsuit or any cease and desist letters. I only privated my video at the request of YouTube 
because YouTube said it was a bad look for their platform. James, I am so sorry that I allowed myself to be poisoned and weaponized against you. I okay, did y'all hear that part? Everybody thought that she took it down because she was embarrassed. YouTube told her to take it down and make it private because it made their platform look bad. If you guys remember, a year ago I said, you notice how all of these new rules about bullying and going after other content creators are only being implemented once they're golden boy, once James Charles became the victim of bullying and abuse, then YouTube wanted to implement rules. But when people lied on me, when I was getting bullied, DM'd, harassed, told to kill myself, all behind a bunch of just bullshit that I had nothing to do with, they told me, oh, it's okay, this too shall pass. There's nothing we can do. If you're being harassed, well, you know, basically in so many words, you're a black bitch, handle it. You got tough skin. You'll bounce back. There's nothing we can do. I talked to my YouTube manager. Nothing they can do. I was constantly harassed for months over BS. That whole black sector does nothing but harass each other. Nothing happens. Harass each other, make videos bashing each other. Nothing happens. But as soon as some stuff goes down in the white sector of YouTube, all new rules are implemented. YouTube hit her up. I don't know if y'all get that. That is a big deal. YouTube hit her up <coughs> and said, private the video now. You're making our platform look bad. In so many words, you're making James Charles, who's our golden boy, look bad and feel bad. But everybody else who's been harassed by different people on this platform, it's okay. Everybody else who's been drugged, and I'm not just saying in the black sector because you had people like Keemstar as well. You had, you know, him and H3N3, they went, you know, back and forth. He reports on people in drama. You know, you have a lot of people in the drama community. The whole thing that happened a few years ago with Leafy is here. Um, the whole content crop situation, grade A, under A. Oh, you know, it, it was so much stuff. When all those musically kids were being bullied by Leafy is here. He made millions of dollars off of bullying and going in on these kids. Rice Gum, another bully, made millions of dollars dragging Musical.ly kids. And YouTube thought, saw nothing wrong with it until it was their golden boy. When have they ever reached out to anybody else who was being harassed and tormented and trolled and told those people who were, you know, who were facilitating it to take down a video? See, a lot of people didn't catch that team. But I caught it. I caught it. I don't miss shit. Um, let's see here. Um, Halima Aiden. Hey, Halima. <laughs> she said another ninety nine ninety nine. Thank you so much, sis. She says for all you do, T. Don't stop, sis. Halima. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming through and supporting. I truly appreciate it, sis. Thank you. Um, let's see here. Donna William, Dana Williams says, none of his antics are funny. They're all on the sexual deviance tip. Wouldn't be surprised if there's a puppet master or a conglomerate funding them. Mm. You ain't lied, sis. Um, Brie from NYC. What's up, sis? She says, hey, T, sending love and positivity your way. Now that you're preaching the truth on your channel or exposing folks, your vids get demonetized. But they allow Shane Dawson to be a complete devil. That's the truth. Excuse me. My damn throat. I'm um, Jamika Swepson says Tati's utilizing them tears to make it seem like she's innocent. F out of here. She implied that James was forcing himself on straight men. She's just as guilty. Exactly, exactly. Oh my goodness, that tea went down the wrong way. Uh, Joyce Terrell sends 25. Thank you so much for the super chat. I really appreciate it. Um, JC Price says, oh my God, finally caught a live. Love you, T. You're a positive black female. Role model, a rare bleed, a rare breed. 
Sending positivity your way from New Orleans. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you to everybody sending super chats. I apologize if I can't read everybody's super chat. But yes, I wanted you guys to peep that for those who might have missed it. How YouTube went out their way to contact her and force her to private a video. That says a lot. Okay. So now we're going to go ahead and get on to Shane Dawson. So after this video went viral, because right now the video is at 2 million views and it's only been up maybe five hours. Shane Dawson went crazy on social media. Him and his boyfriend, honey. They went nuts. So first Shane Dawson popped on the Internet and was like, what the F? Oh, my God, she's lying. He had sent a tweet. Then he deleted the tweet, honey. And then he went live. So let me play you guys his live real quick. Just a snippet of it. Um, give me just a second. Oh, let me read this super chat. This came through. Um, Jesus Mills sent another ninety nine ninety nine. He says, "Hey T, I just came in. Came in from. I just came in just in time for the tea. Just about to leave the work and sip slow. Thank you so much for the super chat. I really appreciate it. Thanks for coming through. So you guys, I'm about to go ahead and I'm gonna play um." The video of Shane Dawson basically going off on his uh, live stream today. Y'all go ahead and check this out. Give me just a second. This is insane. This is insane. This woman is a fucking... I'm going to wait till as many people get in here as... Keep playing it. Keep playing it. So how is it that so many editorial outlets knew that something was coming before I had- Because you met the drama channels! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. And then before I did film, Jeffrey sent me what he claimed was an audio file from an alleged victim and told me to listen to the pain of her voice. The audio was a very small portion of the conversation. It wasn't enough for me to contact the authorities. It was enough to scare me. Why would you make a video on the matter claiming these allegations? Because she is a fucking... I can't, I can't. I don't want to say mean things about people. This is insane. This is insane. This person literally... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is the second half here. Okay, sorry. Keep pressing play. I need to get through this video so I can fucking... Oh, my God. As a victim of abuse myself, Sh oh my God, terrified. you are so manipulative. Face <laughs> you're fake. You're fake crying. You are fake crying. You are fake crying. That is not real. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. I was molested. I have been. Oh my, oh my God. That is not. Oh my God. The night before posting my video of my sister, oh my God. I texted Shane, sharing my concerns for James Charles, that he was out of the country on a high floor of a hotel, and I was afraid for About you okay jada pinkett smith and jaden smith sent for your ass over the past weekend about you pretending to jerk off to dang on willow you were silent no one has seen you okay you got a viral video right now of you talking about how travis barker's daughter who was six at the time was sexy you have not come out and addressed that but Tati Westbrook comes out the woodwork, and now it's, oh my God, 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 oh my God! Honey, I can't with the theatrics, bitch. 
I can't. I cannot with the theatrics and the narcissism and the shifting of blame. Who? But that's but then it gets worse. His boyfriend speaks out. His boyfriend is Mr. Rylan. Rylan went off on Twitter. So let me go ahead and show y'all what Rylan said, honey. Rylan wanted all the smoke. Let me pull this up. Rylan said he was ready. Y'all make sure y'all have the, you know, the violins. We need violin emojis, honey. Rylan Adams says, <laughs> excuse me, Tati Westbrook, a master class in manipulation. The only way to save her reputation was to side with the person she tried to ruin. Make no mistake. This is a 40 year old woman who chose to post a video on her own accord. She riled up Shane before doing so. So to have one of the biggest creators backing her in chance that all of this backfired. Shane very well would have posted a video exposing James had he felt so inclined. No receipts because she didn't want to expose the countless times she told Shane that she was a big girl and this is only for herself. <laughs> Part two, honey. He says, hope you enjoyed those sold out vitamins that you made millions in minutes from Shane's support, you two-faced liar. Then he says, not today, motherfuckers. Do not tray me right now. Then he came back and wrote, try. <laughs> this fool said Trey and came back was like, oh no, my bad. I mean, try. You can't, I mean, this is a real life soap opera slash Netflix series. You can't make this shit up. This whole situation's a hot damn mess. We got over 16,000 people in here watching. Shout out to all of y'all. Thank y'all for sipping with me tonight, okay? So this entire situation is a mess. He said he wants all the smoke. Today he got time, cuz. Okay? Now they didn't have time for Willow Smith. Damn sure they didn't have time for Travis Barker's daughter. But for Tati, today they got time, cuz. Notice that? Very convenient. So now, what I want to do, because I think I got about 30 minutes left. How long I been on here? I've been on here for 47 minutes. Okay. So let me go ahead and get to my breakdown of some things here, okay? And I took some notes. So I might be reading my notes just like Tati was reading her notes, okay? Because, I, you know, I wrote a lot of stuff. One of the things that I feel is this. The reason why Tati came out with this video right now is because of the climate that we're in. She had a whole year to respond about this whole situation. So I feel like part of the reason why she came out with it is because Shane right now is being canceled. His, uh, his books are being pulled from Target. We talked about that yesterday. I heard today that Morphe is also taking his makeup and his brushes and whatever else he has in Morphe. They're also canceling their partnership with him. And then if you guys do not know, today... Shane's entire platform, all three channels were demonetized by YouTube. All three channels. Okay? So I feel like Tati knew this was a perfect time to strike because Shane is in the hot seat. Jeffree Star is always in the hot seat, honey. That I mean, he's always being exposed for something. So she knew this was the right time to strike. Do y'all agree with that? Um, Niv uh, Nivos Jean, Jean Louis. Uh, sends a hundred dollars and says these people are afraid of being canceled. Keep going, Auntie T. Thank you so much for the hundred dollars super chat, sis. Super, super appreciated. Thank you. So I felt like she she picked the right time to go at him. So now, let me kind of rewind this back because I have to kind of do my own research. Okay. Like they always say, there's three sides to the story: her side, his side, and the truth. And I feel like the truth lies somewhere in the middle, okay? I don't think any of these people are necessarily innocent. 
Tati can cry all the tattoo tears she wants to. I don't think she was all the way innocent. Now, I will say this. She did take ownership for what she did. So at least in that regards, I can respect her for that, that she did take ownership, you know, for what she did to James. She did apologize to him. And at the end of the day, she don't need me to forgive her. She ain't do shit to me. So James Charles wants to forgive her and be back friends with her. That is their business. That is their relationship. Okay. But like I was saying before, none of them are innocent. They all played a hand in this. And this is why I'm going to tell you why I feel like what she was saying about Shane and Jeffrey at the end of the video, why I feel like they did all this. Cause that's the biggest question. Why would they do this? Why would they do this to James Charles? You know, they're all rich. They're all famous. You know, they're top tier YouTubers. What is the problem? So that's what we're about to get into right now. Let me see here. Going through my notes. Okay. She said in her stream that allegedly Jeffree Star is co-owner of Morphe. Now, she didn't provide any receipts, but I got receipts. Okay. If you guys do not know, two months ago, Jeffree Star stated himself that he was now co-owner of Morphe and they opened 27 stores. Okay, I'll miss shit. So let me go ahead and play this for you guys. Give me just a second. For y'all who don't know this. Make sure I have it here. Okay, this is the one. Mold is good enough, so then we we'll, we'll get him order some. Right. Well, I need to show you some grills. Oh, yes, please. Yeah. Yeah. Is my mold good? I know, but check it out. I think it's good. Sure. Did it get it again? Yes. So what in the mall does you open the store? Yeah, so it's called Morphe Brushes. So it's like a company that um, I invested in, and I have my own brand in the store. Kind of like a Sephora, but like better. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's like okay. the new wave. So we have seventy-five stores opening this year. By Christmas. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Congratulations. And then we're going with Toronto, nice. Australia, England. We go to England in two days to open. Another way we're in. Okay. So you guys just heard that. So I feel like there's some truth to what Tati is saying. Okay. So you might be asking yourself, well, if he's co-owner and James Charles has a palette at Morphe, shouldn't he be happy because he's making money? But we got to go back. To almost a year ago, Jeffrey wasn't co-owner. He just became, he just announced he was co-owner two months ago. A year ago, he wasn't. What happened is that James Charles was telling everybody that he was trying, because Morphe was looking for investors. They want to be like the next Sephora. So they were looking for investors, okay? And James Charles is rich. You know, he's a rich 21-year-old guy. And so at that point, James Charles was telling people that he was looking into investing into Morphe and being a, a co-owner of Morphe. That is facts. But the problem is James Charles was telling the wrong people. OK, this is why I always tell you guys when you're looking to do something, especially in business, you can't tell everybody your hopes, dreams, secrets and goals. Because not everybody's happy for you. And some people use it as an opportunity to try and snake you. So be very careful with your hopes and dreams. Because James Charles trusted in the wrong people. He thought all these older people, because these are all grown folks. Damn near my age, okay? So he thought, he looked at all these people as mentors. They've been in the game a long time. They're OGs of YouTube. You know what I'm saying? All that stuff. So he's telling these people, you know, his plans. And the whole time, Jeffrey's feeling some type of way. Jeffrey has a very problematic past, and his past is more recent. So people bring up his past all the time. See, Shane Dawson was able to play his racial shit off by saying that was so long ago. A lot of those videos were deleted, and I'm, you know, I'm a documentary filmmaker, all that stuff. With Jeffrey, his stuff might have been 10 years ago, but a lot of stuff that he did was still on the internet and he was still doing problematic stuff. So it's not like he did something problematic and then stopped. He was continuing to do problematic things all through his career. Okay. The same social climbing that he, he accused, you know, Manny MUA and Laura Lee and all them of, he did the same thing. He social climbed with Kat Von D. 
Then he got with, you know, Laura Lee, if that's her name. I think I'm saying her name right. Then he got with Manu, Manny MUA. And I remember when that scandal happened, you know, I knew about Laura Lee. I guess they found old racist stuff that she did or said on Twitter and people canceled her. And so I thought that Manny had did something racist, too. Then come to find out he didn't do anything. They, they're they mad at him for social climbing. I said, wait, what? Y'all canceled him for so Y'all ca- are calling him a mooch and all this other shit because he social climbed? So did Jeffree Star. L- what is the difference? Why is it okay for one but not the other? This community is so messy and miserable and hypocritical, it's crazy. But anyways, right? So it's a lot to unpackage like I told y'all. So he was not, okay, so, okay, so uh, James Charles was telling everybody his, you know, his business, how he wanted to, you know, be a co-owner of Morphe and everything else. Jeffrey Starr, with his problematic past, knew that he also wanted to be a co-owner of Morphe. Morphe was the only brand that was willing to give him a chance because Sephora, Alta, you know, all the other stores would not allow Jeffrey Starr's makeup to be in those stores because of his racist past and his problematic background. But Morphe was fucking with him heavy because they were more, you know, they were smaller. So they were willing to give Jeffree Star a chance. So the problem is if James would have came in and been co-owner and Jeffree is the elder, his ego got in the way. How embarrassing is that, that you're only allowed to have your makeup in the store. But this young kid who's only been on YouTube three years done surpassed you and now he's the co-owner. So that's where the plot starts coming in. Um... So let me go ahead, make sure I have all my notes. So then what Jeffrey did is he used Shane Dawson to come in, okay? All this is allegedly, this is how I'm looking at it. From everything I'm researching, this is what I feel happened. Y'all ain't got to believe me. I'm not saying it's 100%. This is just my feelings, okay? I believe that Jeffrey Starr reached out to Shane Dawson and they decided to make an enemy out of James. So you're asking, so well, why would Shane Dawson be hating on James? Well, if you guys remember, James Charles was doing a documentary, uh-huh, a year ago on the YouTube beauty community. Remember, him and Marlena still, the lady who owns Makeup Geek, got into it because James Charles disrespected her and called her that woman. When he found out that Marlena was also working on a documentary, he felt like Marlena was trying to bite him as if he's the only person who can work on a damn documentary. Once again, selfishness, narcissism, and hypocrisy. There, they can be multiple documentaries, sweetheart, okay? So he tried to go at Marlena for that. Uh, Do do y'all remember this? Put a teacup if y'all remember this. Because people have short-term memories on the internet. So he was trying to... Um, okay, somebody's okay. So Jeffrey stars in Alta. Okay, I, I don't know because I, I don't be in them stores like that. So if he's in Alta, good for him. But I know for a while he couldn't get into a lot of stores. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Um, now, as far as the whole documentary thing, let me go ahead and bring y'all these receipts. Give me just a second here. We have to go back and dig them out, honey. James Charles. Okay. So look at this receipt. If you guys look, this was back September 28th, 2018. Netflix is making a documentary about the beauty industry and YouTubers. And it was starring James Charles. Then he started beefing with uh, Marlena Still because he thought Marlena was trying to steal his idea. No pun intended, bitch. (laughs) Okay, no pun intended. All right. So that is where I feel... Shane Dawson felt some type of way because again, he's trying to change his image. He doesn't want to be seen as, you know, the racist, crazy pedo guy. Now he wants to be seen as uncle Shane, the makeup guru and the, you know, the documentary filmmaker. Shane's documentaries are only on YouTube. That's it. Netflix has never reached out to him. And I think that Shane felt some type of way. So what better way than to kill two birds with one stone. We join together. We'll make James's reputation look so bad that Morphe will not mess with him. And then they'll sign Jeffree Star on as co-owner. And then Netflix will not mess with James Charles. And then possibly, you know, Shane Dawson will might get a chance to do a Netflix deal. That's just what I'm thinking, okay? Because 
Netflix, after that whole um, Bye Sister video and him being seen as a predator and all that stuff, Netflix dropped James Charles' documentary like a hot potato. Mission accomplished. Now, y'all might think I'm crazy, but this is what, what I'm feeling, okay? Netflix did drop him. Did y'all watch the documentary? It was filmed in 2018. It still ain't dropped to this day, and it's 2020. That situation, what Tati did, really had a ripple effect. And it made a lot of these companies say, you know what? All these YouTubers are batshit crazy. We're all falling back. So Morphe stepped away from James Charles. Netflix stepped away from James Charles. And Shane is seen as the golden boy, film director, documentary person. And now Jeffree Star is bragging just as recently as two months ago that he's co-owner. Okay? But now we got more tea. Um, let's see here. Read this. Um, Miss Saban says we all need, hold on, all we need now is some tigers and alleged dead spouse, and we have another <laughs> season two of Tiger King. It's pronounced me, Isaban. I love you and your content. Thank you so much for the super chat, sis. Appreciate it. Um, Destiny sent $49.99. She says, Spit facts, T. I'm only watching for you because I don't know anything about these privileged people conspiring against each other. I don't know how people forgave Shane after what he said about Trayvon Martin. Thank you so much. Thank you for the super chat. Um, so let me go ahead and pull up this other receipt. So now you might be asking yourself, okay, let, let's get to this part because I took a lot of notes. So then you might be asking yourself, okay, so Shane and Jeffrey hooked up. They're deciding to do this, but they both know because they're very problematic they can't bring the receipts to the people of YouTube, to the beauty community. Shane can't just come out and say, oh, well, you know, um, uh, James Charles did this. He's a predator. He's done this. Why? Because the people who follow Shane, I don't, but the people who do, he had that podcast. And we see everything that's been coming out now about his podcast. All the pedo jokes and the sexualization of kids. So imagine if he would have came out trying to call James Charles a pedo. People will pull those clips from the podcast like they're doing now and say, well, hold on, brother. You're doing a bit too much. What about what you were saying here and there? So he couldn't risk it. Je uh, Jeffree Star is always embroiled in some type of controversy. So he couldn't come out and point a finger at James Charles because they would just pull up all his past, which they did when Jeffree Star, you know, came out and tried to calm a predator. They're like, but you're in the woods grabbing people's nuts. You're over here talking about Justin Bieber's peen when Justin Bieber was 15 and you were 25. So people, she knew like they would pull out his skeleton. So he didn't want to be the one to do it. Tati Westbrook, like I said, before all this shit, she had a really stellar reputation in the YouTube beauty community. All she did was upload videos, doing makeup. And I'm not, you know, I'm not making no excuses for her. All I'm just showing y'all what I'm thinking, my theory. Okay. She had a very stellar reputation. People really highly respected her. So I believe that is why Jeffree Star introduced Shane to Tati. Because he knew that Shane would be able to manipulate her, even though she's a grown-ass woman in her damn 40s damn near, into feeling like she'll eventually get her own documentary series with Shane Dawson. Remember, she said that in the stream. The way he was introduced to her made it seem like he was going to do a documentary on her and how she came up and how she, you know, made it through the YouTube channels. Okay? So that's where that whole connection comes in at. So now they start feeding her all this information about James Charles, how bad of a person he is, um, you know, how he's a predator and everything else. Tati was listening to all this, but she still, you know... She's, t she's taken in the information, but it wasn't enough to push her over the edge. What pushed Tati over the edge was the Sugar Bay hair debacle. So unbeknownst to James, he doesn't know that Tati's feeling some type of way. Because his so-called mentor is too chicken shit to hit him up and let him know her real feelings. So he goes and he shots out Sugar Bay hair during Coachella. And now she feels like, you know what? That's the proof that I need that James Charles is not a real friend to me and does not care about me, my brand, my well-being. So now everything that um, 
that Shane Dawson and uh, Jeffree Star have told me, it has to be true because look at his character. Look how he's done me. So do y'all get it now? Do y'all get like how all of this is starting to fit together? Am I making sense? Look, I see a lot of shocked faces. Right. So that was the cherry on top. The fact that he shouted out sugar bear hair and not her, you know, her, her line, Halo Beauty. So that that was so for her to say that this is not about vitamins and this is not about, you know, what I'm saying him shouting me out. Yes, it was. That was the catalyst. And you need to own that, Tati. It's OK. We all make mistakes. I've been manipulated before. We've all, you know, especially by narcissistic people, you can be manipulated. OK, but that was the catalyst. That's what set you off. You may not realize it at the time, but me on the outside looking in. That was the catalyst. So once that happened, you were like, you just saw red. And you were like, you know what? F this. I'm about to show him who he is, who he thinks, who does he think he is. I'm about to show him who he's messing with. And that's why she got so upset. No one had ever seen Tati like that. That is why that video made international news. A white woman on YouTube literally upset about vitamins made international news because Tati had never been involved in no drama. She was like the mother of the beauty community. So they knew what they were doing when they approached her. So there was a lot of manipulation in there, but I'm not absolving her because at the end of the day, she's still grown and she could have went about it a different way. But they very much did come together to conspire to help plant seeds. Because even planting seeds in people's heads is a form of manipulation. If it's bad seeds. Honey, I'm spitting too much real. Okay. Um, you know, somebody said Inspector TT Gadget is on it, honey. I got some more um, receipts. Hold on real quick. Let me go through my notes. Make sure I have everything here. Okay. Another thing. So to people saying, well, what made Tati... What really pissed her off now? Like I said earlier in the stream, this was the perfect opportunity for her to go off because of all the drama that Shane is currently in. But what really set Tati off was this. If you guys don't know, a few months ago, I had played the audio like maybe two streams ago. Jeffree Star went on to Keem Star's um, podcast in the basement and basically threw Tati under the bus. Okay. Had Jeffree Star not said anything, the drama would have, you know, probably, you know, already died down. You know, she probably would have been able to move on. But the fact that he decided to be messy and throw her under the bus and she got attacked again is really what it was really the catalyst to her making this video and throwing both of them under the bus as well. Let me go ahead and play you guys this clip. Y'all enjoying this stream? Put a teacup. If y'all are loving this breakdown, we got 17,000 people in here. I've been on for an hour and a half, honey. 17,000. Let's see here. Shout out to all y'all. Thank y'all for coming through, supporting, watching. I'm breaking shit down, honey. So this is the um, podcast that Jeffree Star did throwing Tati under the bus. Give me a second here. You know Shane longer than me, Keem. You think we care to drag or ruin someone? For what? We're our own superstars. We're our own lane. You do have a testimony from an alleged victim in your possession. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, he does. That's what he said. Right. He did and uploaded a 40 minute video about him and she should have never uploaded that. Yeah, that's why. She but she did. And for some reason, James thinks that me and Shane tried to ruin his life and orchestrated the whole thing like we f care. You know Shane longer than me, Keem. You think we care to drag or ruin someone? All right, honey. So... Like I was saying, that was the catalyst. When he reopened that wound, took no responsibility, basically made it seem like Tati caught James a predator when she didn't. And the thing is, when the initial drama happened, it was between Tati and James. 
Jeffree Star came running with his cape, adding extra sauce to the fucking chicken. Didn't nobody ask for your damn hot sauce, Jeffrey? Go sit your ass down. He came with a bottle of Red Hot, adding all types of sauce. James Charles is a predator. James Charles be fucking little kids. James Charles ain't allowed in my house. Nathan is scared of James Charles. He had all types of shit to say, and it had nothing to do with him. It's like, calm down. You always in the mix. Always. So for him to then sit on Kim Star's podcast and play innocent and say that him and Shane had nothing to do with it, this was on Tati, she made a 40-minute video, you know, basically trying to ruin him. Yeah, with y'all's help. None of y'all are innocent. All y'all are guilty. All y'all played a part in this. And the reason why they were doing that was for nothing more than selfishness and ego. Ego. Because this young boy came out of nowhere. Remember, he was the mentee. And he lied. That's why I can't believe him rock with James. He lied and said that, oh, he was being bullied because he bought a ring light to school. And then come to find out all that was fabricated. But again, white privilege, people ignore that, and he got a cover girl deal. So it's just like even the way he came onto YouTube was a lie. So anyways, he starts blowing up. He, the one thing that works for James is the fact that he's handsome. He ain't no ugly kid. And he has youth. The youth, the little white girls in the schools, they support him. They rock with him heavy. They don't rock with Jeffree Star the way they rock with James Charles. Hence why James started surpassing Jeffrey in numbers. Hence why he sped right by Tati's ass. She's grown. She's more like a mother figure. Them little the high school girls, junior high girls, they relate to James Charles. He's closer to their age. That's just what it is. I know my position on YouTube. I'm not the damn spring chicken of this bitch. I'm everybody's auntie. Everybody calls me Auntie T. And I'm, I'm fine with that position. I'm not trying to be nobody's, you know, uh, I'm not 21. So everybody has to know the position that they play. I'm not going to sit here and hate on a girl who's 21, 22, 23 doing her thing. Get it, sis? But all these people are driven by ego. And because this little young boy came out the woodwork and he blew and he excelled, they felt some type of way. They felt like you haven't put enough work on this platform for you to be getting documentary deals with Netflix when I've been here for 10 years and Netflix ain't never reached out to me, Shane Dawson. You haven't put in enough work on YouTube for you to be getting major collaborations with Morphe, Sephora, going to Met Gala events with the CEO. I got 14 million subscribers at the time. Everybody knows me. I made music. I was famous. I was a rock star. And people are rocking with you, Jeffrey. That's what he was thinking. And then Tati, her whole thing was, I mentored you. When I got you, you only had 100,000 subscribers. I showed you the ropes. I showed you the ins and outs. And now you don't even want to shout out my, my, my gummy bears. I mean, my hair vitamins. Because you're at Coachella and you're doing you and you're hanging with this new group of people. And you're leaving me behind. You're, you're going off with the younger cool kids. And now my old fragile ego is hurt. It all boils down to ego and narcissism. None of these people are innocent. Even James Charles, honey, he has like, you know, his whole little bag of scandal. But in this particular situation, he was innocent. It was a bunch of folks who came together to conspire against him. And unfortunately for Tati, she allowed her emotions to lead her. She allowed herself to be manipulated by Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson. Instead of being an adult and talking to him, and if she really felt that he was a predator and he was doing all this stuff, then at that point, if I can't reach you, Mr. 19-year-old who thinks he's grown, I'm calling your mama. Okay? There's nothing wrong with that. People have called me about shit with my kids. That's what you're supposed to do if you're really that close to the family. I'm going to call your mama. Or maybe it's just black folks who do that shit. Because I'd be quick to call somebody mom. What's your mom number? Your son over here doing some shit. That's what you're supposed to do as an adult. Even if she ain't got no kids yet, that's just what it is to be an adult. You don't sit here and make a 40-minute video 
planting seeds to your subscribers and actually to the world because the shit blew up bigger than she thought it would. Planting seeds that he's trying to, you know what I'm saying, turn out straight men. You added that sauce. Those words came out your mouth. So you got to take responsibility for that. Like I even said before, when she made her initial rant about the vitamins, I understood that. I understood how, and I, and I said she has a right to be heard about that. Because when you put your all and your money into something and your friends don't support you, that's a hurtful feeling. So I understood Tati there 100%. But where I was like, you know what? Nah, this is deeper than vitamins, sis. This shit ain't nah, nah, nah. You doing too much. Now you're bringing up people, the waiters in Seattle and, you know, him acting all perverted and him saying perverted stuff at her birthday party. She was planting those seeds for the people who didn't give a fuck about her vitamins. Like, just in case you don't care about this vitamin issue, he goes after straight men. Because we all know what that, you know, what when people say that, that's to perpetuate that, you know, gay men are always after straight men. And so that's why she said that. And she just has to take accountability for that. Even though, yes, yeah, she was manipulated in a certain sense, she also benefited in that manipulation because her shit sold within 24 hours. Them damn vitamins were gone. She gained 10 million subscribers. I mean, she went from 2 million subscribers to 10 million subscribers at the time. And then when he came out with his video by his sister or his response video, that's when she lost like 2 million subscribers. So the whole situation is crazy, honey. Let me see if there's anything else I need to uh, pull up. I think I pulled up all my receipts. Yeah, I hope you guys like this stream, man. How long have I been on here? Let's see. Damn, we, got a, we had a lot of people. I've been on here for an hour and 16 minutes. I don't want it to go too long because people can, you know, enjoy the playback. But let me read these last few super chats. I'm going to get up out of here. Hope you guys enjoyed this stream. I hope I broke down a lot of stuff. Uh, Monique uh, Lowell sends $99.99. Y'all really looked out today. Like, thank you guys so much. Y'all really looked out. She says, uh, T has the juice, honey. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Destiny says, uh, she sends $49.99. Um, oh, I'm sorry, Destiny. I've read, I've read your uh, chat already. Um, Nashera Nichelle says, you're spitting facts, T. Jeffree Star is the worst of the worst. The Scorpio stinger been out because of the chaos. Yep. I mean, his name is always involved in mess. Always. Um, just a matter of Tam says, you've been preaching and teaching all week. Come through, sis. Thank you so much for the super chat, sis. And this is on like my third live stream this week. Y'all know I don't never live stream this much, honey. It's just been so much tea and so much stuff going on. But, you know, I felt like this whole situation deserved a live stream so y'all can talk and, you know, amongst yourselves. And I could bring y'all the receipts and, you know, just my thoughts on what really happened. Because I think with what I put together, that's where the truth lies. Somewhere in that is where the truth lies. Um, Latanya Blake says, everyone also forgot that James made that Ebola tweet as well, which was brought up again with the Tati drama, but forgotten again. Listening at word, thank you for all you do. Thank you so much. And he did. He made a tweet about Ebola. He sure did. So like I said, he's been problematic as well. Very much so. Barbara Quid uh, Quitilia says, shh, I shall, <laughs> I shall have my mama call me PTSD. Exactly. Exactly. When you're, when somebody's that young and you're that much older than them, call their mama if they're on some bullshit. That's just what, you know, that's just what you're supposed to do if you really care about that person. Um, Peachy Bun, I like that name, said 999 says, let's not forget that Shane himself said he was jealous of the new YouTubers on the Forbes list because they became instant millionaires on the platform and it took him years. Wow. So I didn't know that. So maybe everything I'm saying, you guys, Peachy Bun just said it. He's even admitted that he's been jealous of these new YouTubers. And let's not forget in the one documentary, he even talked about how he basically squandered his money. And he's not able to make as much money now on YouTube because nobody was watching him like that. That's why he started doing the documentary films. And, you know, when he connected with Jeffree Star, he made thousands of dollars off of those videos, off of those documentary films. And that's why he did the conspiracy palette. I heard he made anywhere from $8 million to $100 million. 
I've heard all wide ranges. I don't know because I'm not in his bank account. But he made a pretty penny from that conspiracy palette. Um, Miss Hunty says, what gets me about the podcast is Jeffrey said he didn't even know if the voice memo is real. I can't with him. You see that? But everybody keeps talking about this voice memo. It's crazy. I'm so unique. Limey says, sorry, I came at the end. Love you, T. Love you, too, and thank you so much for coming through when you did, and thanks for the super chat. Um, Melly Nijambang says, August Alcina admits Will gave him permission to have a affair with... What, what? Let me sip my tea. Y'all not gonna keep coming into my shit. Spilling tea. I wasn't ready for that, okay? Malai, I was not ready for that. She says, August Alcina admits Will gave him permission to have an affair with Jada. What did I say almost a year and a half ago? Somebody was smashing. Remember when he made that song about Jada Pinkett Smith? And people was putting two and two together? Anyways, this stream is about Tati Westbrook and Shay Dawson and Jeffree Star. Whoo! I got to get my ass to Twitter, honey. I wasn't ready for that one. Thank you. Um, Antonio Martin says, thank you for everything you do, Queen. Empath, Scorpios have always been prone to jealousy. And Jeffrey lets it get to him. To my fellow Scorpios, please learn from this. T, your third eye is impeccable. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. And yes, everybody needs to learn from that. You know, I don't even think it's solely um, a Zodiac thing. You know, jealousy is a human innate, uh, a human emotion. And it can be you being jealous of somebody at work, a co-worker, another YouTuber. You know, jealousy is a human emotion and people go through it. But the problem is people need to learn to check that. That's why a lot of times when I see people just, you know, hating and doing stupid shit, it, it really just boils down to jealousy. That's all it is. And the thing is, if you take that jealous spirit, that jealous energy, and you take all that and turn it into something positive and use all that energy that you spend time hating on somebody else and plotting on somebody else, you can use all that energy to make yourself great. Imagine if Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson spent all that energy instead of plotting and trying to manipulate Tati into some bullshit. Imagine if they spent all that energy into doing, doing something positive. None of them would be in the situation that they're in now. None of them. And the sad thing is, like I told y'all before, Money does not buy happiness. Neither does fame. These people have more money than most of us will ever see. Jeffrey has some of the most luxurious cars I've ever seen. A, a, a closet full of Hermes bags. And he still has to do little shit like this. That's why I always ask, like, when is enough enough? A lot of us just want to be comfortable in life. These people are more than comfortable. Why do you think Tati can go hours... Am I, have I been kicked off? Oh, okay, I'm still on here. Why do you think Tati can go, um, not hours, excuse me, months without making a video? Because she's made enough money, so she's okay. So on that note, I don't know if I'm freezing up, what's going on. But on that note, I think we all should learn something from this. You know, jealousy is a human emotion, but it's also an emotion that we need to keep in check. And we need to take any negative emotion and try our best to spin into a positive emotion. So that way, you know what I'm saying, we don't end up in situations like this. So once again, thank you so much for the super chat. I appreciate it. So let's see here. Oh, I must have got kicked off. Okay, well, it looks like my stream ended on YouTube. So I'm going to go ahead and, you know, get up out of here. I will upload my full stream from OBS for all you guys to watch. So there'll be two streams on my page. So once again, you guys, thank you so much for joining me. I truly appreciate it. And you guys have a good evening. Peace.